You know what we're so excited about? Leading ladies. Yeah. How about this lineup? This lineup. You know, you get to nuts. sit on stage with you know like Kelsey from stuff, right? I mean, barely. Yeah, oh, I get yeah? to. I, I, she's love my life. And oh she yeah. She doesn't know it, but she texts me randomly every now and then when I do an interview, and she's like, "You are me, and I am you." And we are best friends. And I'm like, I feel that. But I What's never up, Kelsey? get to see her. <laughs> Hi, Kelsey. I love yeah. you. Hello, Megan. Hi. Bro. <laughs> um, it's so good to have you here. You are here because we're catching up. It's been too long. I got announcements. I have something to say. It wasn't because you wanted to see me. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> and the I new just hairstyle. wanted to see the new flow. Yeah, it's it's very going. love is blind. It's very cool. The it's mullet. Wow. It's a really good season right now. I was you should scared check of that, it out. The mullet thing. We're cutting it after today. Just I love this. it. It yeah. makes me think, oh, you should be an actor. Yeah. Um, you do have so many announcements. Um, one of the biggest ones that we're so excited about is you got a song with T-Pain. I got a song with T-Pain. I can't believe it's real. I can't believe I could say that. I can't believe it's finally out. It's called Been Like This, and it's uh, after Made You Look popped off, I was like, a, a lot of uh, comments I saw were like, wow, I thought you were tired. And I was like, oh, I'm still here. I'm doing it. I've been doing this. Been like this. And I've been like this. And T-Pain's having that same moment where people are like, I didn't know he could sing so well. And I'm like. Casuals. Ca I'm, yeah, I'm like, oh, you're new here. Uh, I've been knowing how good he is. So it felt like destiny to have this song together, and he murdered his verse. It was so good. And we just shot the music video together, and I cannot believe my life. Ooh. All right, what can you tell us about it? What is the um, um, vibe I will of it? say that it was the most physically tasking how do I say it? it was a challenging it was challenging for me um physically because I was like doing what felt like a pull-up the whole time but I was I'm hanging on top of a chandelier oh wow and I was holding on for dear life wow <laughs> I was like go run it and just <laughs> we got one holding on. yeah that's amazing well, but can't I wait look to... cool and I look calm up there can't wait to to see what that looks like is, cool. is like middle school you like freaking Dying. out the whole time yeah just freaking out. Every oh. day my mom's like, hey, 15-year-old Megan, you have a song with T-Pain. Oh, my gosh. Like, no way, dude. <laughs> so how does that start? I mean, is it, I feel like in your world, it's like you just cross paths. How did you get a hold no, of T-Pain? No, I've been manifesting him for <laughs> like 10 years, like nice and loud. I'm on my 10-year reunion. No, what is it called? I'm on my 10-year anniversary of All About That Bass oh, reunion. Yeah. Jeez. I have been up since four. Um, <laughs> and I've been, when people ask me, who's your favorite artist? T-Pain. Who's your favorite songwriter? T-Pain. So I've been putting this out into the world for a long time and finally got his number last year. And then I casually sent him Ben like this and he was like, I love this. And then he goes to me for a while and I was like, he hates me. Oh no. But it was all a part of a big surprise for my 30th birthday. He surprised me at my house on my birthday, my 30th birthday, and he played me the verse that he sang on. Oh, man. And he was like, I'm sorry I ghosted you. I didn't know how to talk to you without ruining the surprise. <sighs> and I was like, wow, this is the best day of my whole life. <laughs> Dang, you went from like down here to up here. Oh, my God, Did yeah. He leave he a little shawty or yeah. no? Yes. Oh. Shawty, that was good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I, you say actor, I think singer. Um, <laughs> is there anyone else that you got to work with on this new project? By the way, you announced a new album yep. on the 14th I have of new June. Album. That's my uh, husband's birthday, June 14th. I was going to Happy early birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This but, album's for you, baby. Yeah. Uh, it's called Timeless, because uh, I wish that we were timeless forever. And and my love for my family and for the fans and for music is timeless. And I hope in 50 years we can play this music and go, wow, it still slaps. Yeah. You know? So any other T-Pain moments on the album that you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe yeah. this came together? How do you yeah. know that? I can feel um, it. He, well, he actually... Because he didn't respond about Ben like this, I was like, maybe he hates the song. Maybe I'll send him another one. And I sent him another one called Love on Hold that I wrote with my two bros. And when he showed up to my birthday, he's like, not only did I do Ben like this, but I also did Love on Hold. And oh, I was man. like, stop it. So there are two features of T-Pain wow. on this album. All the songs are upbeat, happy, confident. How many songs 16, are we feeling? 16. And then we got a deluxe with extra ones, possibly. Can't and then. Wait. There's only one slow song called Timeless. It's the big ballad, the big love song. And um, there's another slower one that I did with my little bro called Forget How to Love, oh. which is very big and powerful. That's going to be amazing. I can't wait to hear all Dude, of the thank features. You so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many songs are like in the Megan Trainer archive? Like if we went into that, oh. into your, you know, like, there's a and lot they could be from demo to like, yeah. could put out. No, there's a lot of them and they're, they're old. So my mom is the most sad about them because I was like 19 when I. Like got well, I was like eighteen when I got signed as a songwriter and started writing. So it's been like ten years, 
And every song that's not cut or not put on my album, she's like, this one deserves a home. And I'm like, I agree, mama. But like, I don't know where to find it. You know, I don't know where to put it. But one day they'll have a home. And it happens like randomly. Um, Let's see. G Idol, amazing girl group, uh, cut one of my songs that was older called Eyes Roll. And I wrote it with my older bro. And we had no idea anyone would sing it. And they crushed it. It was so good. And... It, that was one of those moments that I'm like, ah, these songs will have a home someday. You know? Yeah, you never know. Yeah. So it's like over 500? <laughs> it's, like it's a lot. Well, over 1,000? Before getting signed, my dad was like, you have to write like uh, 5,000 songs to be good oh and 10,000 songs to be great. So uh, What's that quote? You need like 10,000 hours to yeah, be a the, pro at something? That. You know what we're so excited about? Leading ladies. Yeah. How about this lineup? This lineup's you, know, you get to nuts. sit on stage with, you know, like Kelsey from stuff, right? I mean, barely. Yeah, oh, I get yeah? to. Well, I, I, she's love my life, and oh, she yeah. doesn't know it. But she texts me randomly every now and then when I do an interview, and she's like, "You are me, and I am you, and we are best friends." And I'm like, "I feel that," but I What's never up, Kelsey? get to see her. <laughs> Hi, Kelsey. I love yeah. you. Um, who else is on that show? Christina Perry, mm-hmm. icon, legend. She was so nice. She like emailed me a, a whole thing when I um had uh, my first like mental health moment publicly. Like I. Um, was really going through it, like panic disorders and panic attacks. And she reached out to help me and like out of nowhere. And I was Mm. like, why are you an angel? Um, So fun when people like that are good people, you know? I know. Like they're so, your lyrics are real. Yeah. And true stuff. Oh, and I was having vocal problems too. That's what she reached out for. That's what it was. She's just the best. Um, And then L King, Queen, Hero. Yeah. Yeah, She's going to be there. And we're all going to sing... Like like a songwriting round, yeah. one at a time. That's why I said yes. I was like, this sounds right. iconic. Bring and you back to the roots. Yeah. In there with a guitar. Just, I love and it. And I was like, uh, should I just have my uke or should I have a guitar player? <laughs> Please go And they the made uke. the call. I'm bringing my uke, but they were like, everyone's going to have a guitar player. And I was oh, like, okay, I'll okay. bring one too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be safe. Yeah. Was there ever a point, we talked about this last time, I think, but with the country music route, was there ever any part where you're like, I almost fell into that to do? Well, no, my family just jokes every day they're like w- not even jokes they're like when is your country album coming out and i'm like beyonce can do it i was yeah, yeah i was like just like let me get through this pop first really quick and then <laughs> yeah. i promise i will do a country album someday but i want it to be like collabs with all my friends oh you yeah know? well this is where it starts leading ladies you have leading to ladies. get l king on there um, that's where we start 10 years got pop next 10 year country <laughs> I'm ready. Imagine. That's a long time. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time being in country. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking like one album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a you know? couple of hot features. Uh, yeah. Call it a day. <laughs> yeah. Is work just work when it comes to like writing now? Or do you feel like your family is so much more of like a, I guess, inspiration standpoint for, for just music and a oh, whole? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, well, the whole like timeless concept. I just don't understand um, how we're here and then we're not. And I don't get it. And I, it You're rattles maybe. my bones. And... So I wrote a song, Timeless, as if, like, maybe, I bet we're timeless. Like, the amount that I love you, this can't just end. It has to go on forever. Oh. Um, and that's, like, with every family member I have. Mm. I, I haven't experienced, like, big loss in my face yet, mm. and I don't know how I'm going to be. I don't think I'll be good, but I'm, like, writing these songs preparing me for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. I will hold your hand later. If that, if and when that happens. Yeah. No, I feel that so, so strongly. Like it's the same, same situation. It's so scary though. When you start becoming aware. Yeah. Like, you're getting it's older. The, like I have kids now. Oh man. And I'm like, Whole new layer. like what was life before you? I don't get it. Yeah. It wasn't, it didn't make sense when you weren't here. Call your family. Yeah, <laughs> I call, call my mom family. for like two seconds. I'm like, hey, I just check in. How you doing? Love you. Yeah. Talk to you. I never do that, you know, <laughs> but it's so fun. Um, 10 years of these bangers. What's it like looking back? What would you tell younger Megan? It's just such a fun journey that you've been on. Um, she would be so proud of me. And she, I've been getting this question all day. Have you? And I can't, I don't want to worry cry, about it. dude. I'm so Maybe tired. the most unserious advice ever. Like it's the most so unserious. <laughs> no, my, my younger self is like, kissing me, like so happy, like hugging me and just being like, you did it. You know, like, yeah. Um, we did it, man. We did so good. It's we. There's two of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the personalities. Multiple, yeah, multiple personalities. Oh, man. We um, lived like a ton I of lives, you know? I married a legend. We had babies. <laughs> and we we're, were writing the best music. I'm writing with my family. like, And I get to keep my family close to me. And everything's too good. That's why I'm Got a song with T-Pain. It's too good. Life is too good. I don't <laughs> get it. What's no, coming? You, it. you know? 
you, you've earned it, you know, and it's like all about that work you put into it to, to get to now. So I hope you're enjoying it. Talking about throwbacks real quick. You wrote part of Sledgehammer or you were a big part of Sledgehammer, right? Oh, How do you feel about the gals getting back? Oh, duh. I want it every day. Yeah. I pray at night. I go, please, Fifth Army, please come back together. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, no, I remember I was doing radio shows with them. That no one worked harder than those girls. Mm. Um, and I was I was doing a lot of radio shows with them, so I'd see them all the time. And then seeing them perform Sledgehammer, and I'm in the audience like hiding mm. and watching the crowd sing every word. I was like, this, this is why I'm here. Like this is the coolest thing ever, oh. and I want that more. I want to write for uh, other artists more. I'm just tired. <laughs> it's all I just good. Can't find the I'm time. gonna I'm gonna supply the energy because I have Thank been you. so excited to have you. And if Insync can do it, you gals can do it. Come one on, Direction can do it. Give us one. Um, Give us a show. <laughs> just one song. Just one. I'm trying to touch on everything too that we haven't seen you since. I loved Wrap Me Up so much. Oh my by the way, God. thank you for playing it. Absolutely. So much. Oh man, I'm a Christmas song Jimmy fiend. He's the nicest human being there is. Ever I love was. him. He What's got- a Jimmy Fallon story that just makes you smile? Oh, every day he texts me all the time like just how much he loves me i'm oh. like stop it i love you more like he's like you're just the best and the most talented and i'm like why aren't you my dad you know like <laughs> he's the greatest nicest guy and he i he i my career you're about to see he just got me this opportunity that i can't even talk about but it's literally because how much he believes in me oh. and i'm like jimmy you don't know what you're doing for me i love you yeah so yeah he deserves the world he's the nicest and i want to do christmas with him for the rest of our lives i love it he's your fifth harmony you guys can always he's come back together harmony. we can always get back together <laughs> oh, well he's man. so cute with wrap me up he was like texting me every day until christmas was over and he was like oh my god one more day of wrap me up and i was Aww. like jimmy Christmas comes again. Yeah. Every year we can <laughs> yeah. sing the song. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's so oh, yeah. he's so cute in the fact that he loves radio too. He's so he jazzed radio. when oh, yeah. people play it. So like oh, when dude, I get to talk to him, he, it's like he li- that's all real, dude. When he's filming himself, listen on the radio. He came up to me, he was like, I heard it on the radio. Yeah. And I was like, that could happen, dude. Like we could he like never charted before and we were charting together Man. and he was like, You don't get it. I've never done this. Right. And I was like, Jimmy, I'm gonna <laughs> cry. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I love it. Well, congrats on everything. Um, it's been so fun to... Well, I'm so excited for the future, too. The tour, the album, Leading Ladies. You got to come to the forum. Oh, I'll be at Leading Ladies, front row. Oh, Is that allowed? You will. Can I go to... <laughs> it's in New York. I'll see you there. No, men. Uh, <laughs> this one's for the ladies. Megan, thank you so much for uh, hopping you. on the show. And um, congrats on everything. So excited for the year to come, 2024. It's with Sade, be a big one. T-Pain. Sade. <laughs>